In this story, the main character, Will Hunting, is at a genius level IQ, and instead of using it to his advantage, he would rather spend time with his lesser friends and also work jobs such as a janitor at MIT and work jobs in construction. The story also begins with, with Will solving an incredibly hard math problem in a few days, what normally most people wouldn't ever be able to figure out in their life. Also, to set the stage, Will is thrown into jail for jumping a kid who used to beat him up in kindergarten. And that is where two huge characters are introduced into the story. In order for Will to be let out of jail without spending any time in bars, he must follow two conditions. One being helping Jared Lanlo, an MIT professor, with solving incredibly difficult math problems that even the smartest people in the world have a difficult time solving. And then also meet with a therapist once a week. This therapist is named Sean McGuire, who was Gerald's old college roommate at one, at one point in time. One main theme we see in the story is self versus self, which is the character versus self conflict, also called man versus self conflict, is a type of conflict that, make, that takes place inside a character's mind. Man versus self literary conflict usually involves main character's internal struggle with self doubts, more dilemma, or their own nature. His inability to make peace with his past affects all the decision he makes in his life. Now, such as, and a result, that he is unable to keep a steady relationship with lovers and has a very hard time trusting new people and as well picks jobs that does not necessarily push him to be better in any way, but rather stay the same and be comfortable with where, he had, where he's at now. Will's self-doubt fuels his short, blip relationships he has with women that he meets. In this scene, where Sean and Will are in the middle of a therapy session, Will has just had his first date with this girl named Skylar he met at a bar one time. The day went well, but for some reason, Will was unable to find the courage to call Skylar back or meet up with her. This is his self-defense mechanism, as when he gets too emotionally connected with someone, he just goes ghost. Sean sees this and says one of the more powerful sentences in the movie, saying, that way, you can go through your entire life without having to know anybody. Sean defined this as super philosophy. It's fucking boring. You know, I mean, you don't, this girl's like fucking perfect right now. I don't want to ruin that. Maybe you're perfect right now. Maybe you don't want to ruin that. But I think that's a super philosophy, Will. That way you can go through your entire life without ever having to really know anybody. Another overarching theme in this movie is Logotherapist, founded by Viktor Frankl in the 1940s and was in a few of our readings a few weeks back. The Ch Sean plays the role of the Logotherapist to Will, that role being defined as consisting of widening and broaden broadening the visual field of the patient so that the whole spectrum of potential meaning becomes conscious and visible to him. Will is unable to see all the options he has in his love life, career, because of his ne neglect of his past haunts him and makes it too hard for him to express himself. Sean Rolls, the logotherapist, is to open those locked doors that will push down deep with his past and help realize that he, what has happened to him does not define what will happen to him in the future. As a logotherapist, well, as we can see in one of the scenes, Sean just sits there and waits for Will to be comfortable to talk. Will has to go to these therapist sessions or he's going to jail but he does not necessarily have to talk and speak about what he feels in order to get through it. However, just by Sean's ability to sit in silence and wait for Will to be comfortable, Will does not feel forced into talking about his feelings and therefore ends up speaking more to Sean as the movie goes on. After many therapy sessions with Sean challenging Will to figure out exactly what he wants, Sean and Will have a major breakthrough. Sean talks about how when he was beat as a kid, and Will is able to relate to this. And then, Sean over and over says to Will, it's Look not his son. fault. Then finally, Will breaking down into fault. tears, and this being the first time in the, in the movie where we fully see Will vulnerable to anyone. This is the turning point in Will's life, and afterwards with his newfound self-confidence of his past and peace with himself, he goes and grabs a new job, only to eventually find exactly what he wants, which is to go travel to California and live the rest of his days with Skylar.